I was trying to come up with a uh, an opening to this video, but I'm having a really hard time with it. And um, it really kind of grains my gears, and it's really driving me kind of nuts. So I guess we'll just uh, seed what we come up with later and uh, get some bread. Welcome back, everyone, uh, to the Hungry Heathens Kitchen. Um, it's been been a while, uh, so I figure uh, we're going to ease back into things. Um, today, I, we're going to make uh, some Viking bread. Now, this particular recipe is from a YouTuber, um, a Wolf in Chef's Clothing, and I'm going to modify it a little bit uh, because it calls for linseeds and I couldn't find any. So instead, we're going to use walnuts. Hell of a substitution, I know. Um, and then, while we're waiting for the bread to rise, we're going to make a maple butter to go on the bread. Um, so I guess we're, uh, well, let's, let's just get into it then. So to start, we're going to need three cups of warm water and two, tables, two teaspoons of yeast. So, once you got your yeast and your water, you're obviously going to want to stir it up. Um, and then, when that's all dissolved, we're going to need a half a cup of sunflower seeds, a half a cup of sesame seeds, and half a cup of walnuts, which I'm going to crush the walnuts just to um, make them a little bit more uniform in the mix. So, okay. So, half a cup of sunflower seeds. I'm going to mix them all into the bowl and mix them in together. And then we want half a cup of sesame seeds, which I have not opened yet. Because I'm always well prepared for this sort of thing. Half a cup of sesame seeds, which is going to be damn near the whole container, so not a big deal. All right. Now we're going to want half a cup, and again, you, you can use linseeds, um, I can't find them, so I just said screw it, I'm going to use walnuts. Uh, I like walnuts, you can use hazelnuts, you can use almonds, really. Um, the neat thing about this is it's, it's really just kind of open, open for interpretation. So, uh, put half a cup of walnuts. Now, it's probably the easiest to uh, put these out of the way. The easiest way to crush your walnuts up. Hi, it's Fitz with Slap Chop. You're going to be in a great mood all day because you're going to be slapping my nuts. With the Just to get married. Um, put them in a sandwich bag. It's sticky. And then just take your tenderizing hammer and I'm just going to I'm not gonna get weird. I'm just, like I said, I'm just kind of crushed them up just a little bit, just so we can uh, mix them in a little better. Realize that there's too much air in the damn bag. And you're uh, should probably knock some of the air out. So it crushes a little bit. All right. I mean, you know, we're not not getting weird here. Just using our hammer and uh, kind of crush them up, just so they're not big chunks. You don't have to, I just am, because I feel like they would mix in a little better if they're not huge. Put that there. Okay. And then we're gonna <clears throat> toss those into the mix. Now, you're gonna wanna mix your nuts. Now, we're gonna need a tablespoon of citrus juice. Lemon juice, citrus juice, whatever you wanna use, it's up to you. Lemon juice is, is pretty much citrus juice. That's what I'm going to turn. So, let's see here. Did I not? Hang on. 
Wait a second. Nope, I didn't open this. Alright, well, I'll just how they tell you to puncture a small hole in the top, but don't give you anything to puncture it with. Like, you're just assuming that people have something they can use to puncture a hole in this that's not going to... Uh, that's... whatever. Anyway. So, we need a tablespoon of citrus juice. Uh, but Dump that in there. That off the side. We also need, so we're going to need two cups of bread flour. Um, I'm so well prepared for this. I just, look what happened. I got so excited to get back into recording for you guys and just didn't actually bother to open anything. All right, well, I guess that's how we're doing that. Not the, uh, not the best way to do it, but whatever. All right, so we need a cup of two cups. Two cups of bread flour. So I'm going to do it this way. I'm probably make a huge freaking mess in the process. But that's okay. Uh, that's, that's, I guess that's what makes... Cooking fun. Although this would take for the baking, wouldn't it? Okay, so we're gonna whoop, scoop that up there. In goes our first cup. And then come on now. Put in a second cup. Bloop of that. Now you can use, uh, it also calls for wholemeal flour. And you can use wholemeal flour. So you can use, the main thing is that you use bread flour for this part. Um, anything after that, really, you can use spelt flour, bread flour, all purpose flour, um, you know, any flours that you find out in your garden. I wouldn't use those, actually. They probably wouldn't work really well with the bread. Come on. And then we're going to throw two cups of that in. I have just enough flour to do this, and I don't think I could have planned that any better if I wanted to. All right, that is now garbage. Okay, put that out of the way. That's for our next part. Okay, so we need two teaspoons of salt. We're getting salty up in here. Where did I put my teaspoon? Ah, it's right here. Look at that, right in front of my face meats. So, two teaspoons of that. Now, I'm gonna take these off. We're going to mix this together. I'm gonna dump in our nuts. Our nuts and our seeds and, and seeds and nuts. Okay, put that there. Now, um, you can use a wooden spoon if you want. I don't recommend it. So we're gonna just kind of whisk it in. Make sure we didn't skip any steps. I don't think we did. So you're just gonna mix it until it's a dough. I don't know where the hell my metal whisk went. Oh, well, I'm an idiot. It's in the cup behind me. This is why you can't let me, uh, this is why I can't be left unsupervised, really. Mix it in. It's a good, good consistency, but we'll mix it just a little bit more. Okay, so you're gonna want to let this rise for an hour, 
which will work out perfectly because that's going to give us time to make the maple butter. So I'm going to cover this with a towel real quick and set it off to the side. Okay, while we're waiting for that to rise, we're going to make uh, maple butter. This is another recipe I found um, on YouTube. So basically, uh, what we need is 250 milliliters of maple syrup, which is one cup. And my busted cup, I uh, dropped, tried to fix the handle on, went to use it, it didn't work. But I know this is a cup because it's the biggest one out of my other measuring cups I have. So, I want one cup of maple syrup. Now, don't chug it. Um, you got to, uh, got to have those, uh, like on Super Troopers. Let's let's not do that. So, one cup. Kind of let it. Uh... Which I watched a documentary on that. I guess they chug so much maple syrup that it actually made them sick. Ugh. Anyway, <clears throat> one cup of maple syrup. Now you're gonna want a pinch of salt. I don't know how much pinches, so we're just gonna. Maybe a little more. Just, just. Okay. And a quarter teaspoon of vegetable oil. This is a treat. But, anyway. So, quarter teaspoon of vegetable oil. Now you're going to put this on the stove and let it boil. So we're going to do that now. Put it over here on the stove. Let it boil. Now you're going to want uh, a thermometer for this because um, when it gets around 235 degrees Fahrenheit, um, you're going to want to let it sit there for five to ten minutes. Um, now while we're waiting for that to boil we're gonna get an ice bath ready with a another saucepan because when that's done you're gonna dump it in the other saucepan and you're gonna stir it. So we're gonna do that while that boils. We'll be right back. Okay so ice bath and it's gonna be another saucepan in a bigger bowl. We're gonna just kind of stack the ice around it I'm probably going to end up adding a little bit of cold water to this too, I don't really think I have enough ice. Um, let's start to show this to see what happens. This is basically what you're going to be doing with this, is it's going to be thickening that up into a butter. Now, you're going to want to have a jar ready too when you're done, because it's going to thicken it quickly. And we'll actually do So when I say you're going to want it to boil, that's what I mean right there or something kind of like that. So we're going to grab our thermometer. It only goes to 220 because I forgot to grab a regular one and we're going to check it. See where we're at with this. If it reads above 220 we're good as far as uh, as far as that goes. Okay so we're not quite there yet but that's what you're looking for is a, a rolling boil for about five to ten minutes. Okay, so we're going to check it now. Um, so we're going to let it go for about, uh, I think we're going to let it go for about five, ten minutes, and we'll check it. Um, anyway, back to the ice bath. Um, so you just going to kind of pack the ice around the saucepan. Like I said, I'm probably going to add just a little bit of cold water to this. So um, that's boiling right now. So when that's done boiling, we'll pull it off, we'll dump it in here. Like I said, you're going to want to have a jar ready because once this is done thickening up, you're going to want to put it in a jar for later. We'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're going to pull this off the heat. Dump it right in there. Now, what you're going to want to do when you stir this is you're looking for it to, uh, to get to kind of a light brownish color, and it's going to thicken up. So I'm an idiot. Um, evidently, 
I took it off the uh, stove a little too soon, which in turn made uh, maple candy. So I'm going to heat this back up in an attempt to save this. Um... But if not, we just made maple candy, and that's a really, uh, we've got a really neat recipe for that now, so. No mistakes, only happy accidents. Guys, I, I may or may not have royally screwed this up. Um, whoops. That's, that's not steam, that, that's smoke. I don't know if I, I may, I may have, I may have just summoned something by doing this. Uh, um, mistakes were made. What appears I made maple, uh, maple road tar. Oh boy. Okay, so uh, after having to remove one of the burners from my stove because the uh, <clears throat> maple tar melted through the plastic container I was trying to uh, dump it in, um, and now I have to boil the burner um, in hot water to get the junk off of it, and boiling the pot that I also made the maple tar in, um, we're going to try this again and hopefully not screw this up again no promises but uh yeah yeah so we we had to take this all apart and, and now that's that's in there getting the uh the junk off of it so we can uh uh put it back together but uh we're going to try this again you ever uh, screw up so bad that <clears throat> um, you realize that, uh, that there's probably no coming back from that one? So uh, we ended up making maple candy. And I had the brilliant idea to try to heat it back up and melt it back down. Um, which probably would have worked uh, if I was paying attention and didn't overheat it and turn it into maple tar. Um, so, uh, that's, that's what we ended up making. That's, so we're going to try this again. So we need a cup of maple syrup. Let me put all of the, uh, utensils I had to use out of the way. Okay, so, we'll do this again. One cup of maple syrup. into your saucepan. Now, a pinch of salt. So I'm just going to use a handful because uh, it's probably more than a pinch. That's, that's more than I feel. Quarter teaspoon of vegetable oil. I believe the teaspoon is in the sink. Stand by. Okay, quarter teaspoon of vegetable oil. Dump that in. <clears throat> You're going to heat this up until it's boiling, like before, except I'm going to let it boil longer this time so we don't make maple freaking candy. Be right back. Down two. <clears throat> it's in the freaking ice bath. You're going to want to let it sit until it gets down to about 105 degrees. So we're going to sit it there for about five minutes, and then I'm going to pull it out and start stirring it. This is going to make for great content, but it's been a freaking nightmare to make. Try to temp it quick and see what I can get here. Okay, so it's time to start stirring it. This is going to take a few minutes, so I'm going to save you guys the again from having to watch it. So after the uh, most recent um, escapade of trying to make maple butter, uh, I have spent the last 
45 minutes cleaning everything, including the oven burner off, um, by boiling it. Uh, so that's given the bread more than enough time to rise. Uh, so we're going to move on to that part. You're going to want to preheat your oven to 400, um, and you're going to want to grease a loaf pan. God's help me. Judging by the amount of dough in here, I think I'm going to need two loaf pans, which I happen to have. So, that's what your bread's going to want to look like. Nice and, nice and doughy. So, <clears throat> um, cooking spray. Uh, my personal opinion is the easiest way to do this. I need a... Everything is so foobar right now from having to do, from the way everything just kind of went with the, the maple butter. So I'll be right back. That being said, I did find a better barking recipe. So let's, uh, let's get this in the oven and go from there. So, coach your loaf pans, da da da. Now we're going to dump the dough into the loaf pan. Now, if you remember back to the Yule Cake video, we uh, we actually didn't use a pan. We just kind of set it on a plate. You can do that with this, I feel. Like, it's not a big deal if you don't put it in a loaf pan. I just, uh, maybe it will all fit in a loaf pan. I don't know. We'll find out. It's either going to fit in a loaf pan or it's going to be just like the maple butter, and it's going to be an absolute... Frickin' disaster. Oh, oh, uh, oh, would you look at that? Slowest process ever, but it's in the loaf pan. That's all that matters. So we're just going to scoop the rest of that out. Smells a bit nutty. I'm going to get a rubber spatula to scoop this out the rest of the way. Um, but you're going to preheat your oven to 400, and you're going to want to put it in there for 30 minutes and then check it. If it's not golden brown yet, put it in for another 10. Um, but basically, you're cooking it for half hour to 40 minutes or until it's golden brown. So I'm going to throw this in, um, and then we're going to try to make maple butter with a different recipe because holy crap. This has been an absolute nightmare to make. Um, so the first try, we ended up making maple candy. Um, so I thought, well, maybe if I reheat it, it'll uh, it'll boil back down, and we could we could try it again. Um, it went from maple candy to maple tar. Uh, so after spending the last forty five minutes cleaning all of the maple junk out of the pans, off the spoons, and um, because of my brilliant mindset i thought to put it in a plastic container scraping it out of the pan um which in turn melted through uh onto the burner below um boiling all of the maple junk out of the burner uh we're gonna try this one more time with a different recipe um and if this doesn't work i might actually yeet something across the room so we need half a cup of maple syrup. Uh, so we're going to put half a cup in here. Now I know you're going to want to try to chug this, but don't. It's a bad idea. And put it in the saucepan. You're going to want a medium saucepan for this. This is not a medium saucepan. I need to grab my medium saucepan. Try that again. Okay. So we're going to put that in the medium saucepan. Uh, so then we're going to want to put it over a medium heat. Bring it to a simmer. 
four. About 10 to 12 minutes. Now you're gonna keep an eye on it, make sure the syrup doesn't boil over. Um, so according to this recipe, it's going to look thick and coat the back of a spoon and the bubbles will be large and slow. Um, after it's been simmering for about 12 minutes, you're going to want to remove it from the heat and let it cool off completely for 20 to 25 minutes. Um, so we're going to do that. Uh, I'm going to put the bread in the oven as well because it should be preheated by now. And uh, we'll be right back. Okay, guys. <clears throat> so this is what we're looking for. Big bubbles, nice slow simmer. Um, I got... Oh, two minutes, I'm going to take it off the heat. Um, it's, uh, so you're going to want to start at medium heat till it starts to bubble, and then you turn it down to a medium low heat and let it simmer. So we're going to take this off the heat and let it sit for about 20 minutes and continue making this. The bread should be done shortly before that, though. So this should all come together at the right time, and uh, we can give it a shot. Bread's about done, so I'm going to start mixing the butter up for the maple butter. So you're going to take a stick of butter, you're going to let it get to room temperature, and you're just going to beat it until it's creamy. Yep, and then, uh, then we're going to add the cinnamon and the kosher salt and the maple syrup. Um, so you're going to need a half a teaspoon of kosher salt and half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon as well as the uh, the maple syrup in the pan. So we're going to get to that. Actually, I'm going to pull the bread out because it'll be done here in about 45 seconds. Give me a quick sec. Oh, yeah. How's that? Looking pretty good. Nice golden brown top. I'm going to set that over there for now, let it cool. Off. Guys, the bread is on the stove, so we're gonna just. You can use a hand. Uh, um, wow, an electric mixer for this. But I'm uh, apparently I like doing things the hard way. So I'm gonna use a whisk. Realistically, I don't think I needed a bowl this freaking big. I get a smaller one. I don't know why the recipe says you need to use a large mixing bowl. It's a stick of butter. It's not like a... Oh, there goes that. It's a stick of butter. It's not like I'm doing anything spectacular with it here. I'm not... Uh, I'm not putting a whole kettle of butter together. It, I don't know why it says to use a, a large mixing bowl. It seems kind of asinine to me, but what do I know? I didn't make the recipe. So, realistically, you don't need a large mixing bowl. Um, this should work fine. If, well, don't quote me that. You're probably going to want a large mixing bowl if you're using something other than a whisk, which would probably be uh, a better option here. All things freaking considered. Okay. Um, yeah. It's going to... On second thought, I'm going to use an electric mixer. Because this ain't working either. This night has been not very plus, uh, plus ultra at all. Um, it's in fact been quite the opposite. So, we're going to kind of scoop the bread we just scooped out of this bowl into this bowl, out of this bowl back into this bowl. Because... You know, some days I wonder. I, I'm sure my parents wonder too. Like, wow, how did we manage to raise such an idiot? Oh, that's probably why I don't think the bread. No, no, that's that's room temperature. Okay, be right back while I grab my electric mixer because this is a nightmare. This is this has been just a treat. Okay, so we're gonna mix this.
Yeah, I, I don't understand why this needed to be in a, a large mixing bowl. It's one stick of freaking butter. Okay. So, anyway. Um, yeah. All right then. So now we're gonna add the, Jesus Christ, this has been a nightmare. You know what? So now we're gonna, I got nothing here. Okay, so now we're gonna add the uh, <clears throat> half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. I'm putting this all back in the other bowl. This is stupid. This was a stupid idea. Why is this? Why? Why? You need a large mixing bowl. I really don't think you do. Because all it did was make a mess. But all freaking right, I guess. Okay. So now we're going to add a <clears throat> yes, half teaspoon of cinnamon. And I'm going to dump it. Okay, you know what? I'll save myself the headache. Because. All right, there we go. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Some cinnamon. Half a teaspoon of salt. Toss that in there. And the thick maple syrup. This, this could take a minute. Okay. Where is my... There we go. Add this, this thick, thick maple syrup in here. This recipe had better be the best damn butter I've ever tasted. Because the amount of crap I went through tonight has just been <laughs> obscene. This has been an absolute nightmare. First we made maple candy, then we made maple road tar more than once. This night has been not, not very plus ultra. Not even in the slightest. It has not been very cash money. Okay. Going to just scoop the last little bit out of there. Set it over there. I have made such a freaking mess of this counter tonight. It'll be a wonder that I don't get shanked tomorrow. So, I'm going to mix this all together nice and slow. I can't believe that's the slowest setting this thing has. Okay, and now we're gonna oh make a mess. I mean that's good. It's it's definitely not terrible. Can we maybe just for five minutes? Okay. So this is what we're looking for. Nice, golden, brown. It is delightful. It's very creamy. So I'm going to slice the bread up quick, throw some of this on it, and we're going to give it a shot. Okay. I wanted to wipe the counter down just a little bit. Get a little butter knife quick. Okay, so the crust on this is... It's very good, it's a good crust. So we're gonna cut this up and see what we're working with here. It's still warm, which is fine. I have a bread knife, why am I using it? That's a cheese knife. What am I doing with my life? There it is. That's what the inside of it looks like there. Oh, it's still steaming too. I'm really excited to try this. 
<clears throat> Take a little bit of our, our maple butter here, which I'm going to put in that jar when I'm done. Throw that on there. Now, this maple butter is super creamy, so it's going to melt right into the bread. Let's give it a shot. So the bread itself is fantastic. Um, it's very soft inside, and the maple butter just makes it uh, makes it so much better. Um, yeah, this is definitely, this is definitely a good bread recipe. And the crust on it, too, is really good. Um, so I'm definitely going to keep this one in my back pocket for the, uh, event that I make bread again, and the, this maple butter recipe, too. Um because the other one was a nightmare uh so give it a shot uh let me know what you think and uh we'll see you next time